WPR and WBUR, I'm Peter O'Dowd. And I'm Tanya Mosley. It's here now. A federal advisory panel is meeting at this hour to decide the fate of Whoa. the Johnson & Johnson huh? coronavirus vaccine. Distribution of the JJ vaccine was paused last week after reports of extremely rare... But God, those wheels are so rickety on oh, those things. Oh, we're going to be getting on 340. The that's where of our vaccinations in our country is slowing down. While we'll hospitalizations and infections are creeping so I turn that off. You can plug Dr. Lena Wynn joins us now. Why would I want to plug in Because you said the battery's going down. Physician ...and a professor of public health at George Washington University. Dr. Wynn, welcome back. Thank you. Great to join you. Yes, yeah, so tell us I know those about wheels the panel that's yeah. meeting today. It's the CDC's advisory committee on immunization practices. Who's on this committee and, and what's the range of options for what they Look can at the close, honey. Mm. Well, currently the Johnson Johnson vaccine is put on pause. The CDC and the FDA had decided together that they they wanted to use an abundance of caution. They wanted to use they this time for and they get them way up order there. to see if must have, oh, it's got a pulley thing. Extremely rare yeah. Yeah. Border that is mm -hmm. associated with the Johnson Johnson vaccine. The it's CDC really Independent here. Advisory Committee mm -hmm. um, actually met a week ago. They came up with no recommendations at that time. They said they wanted more information, and they are meeting again today. So this is a group of independent experts that advise the CDC. And I really hope that they will come up with some type of recommendation today. The continued pause just would not make sense. The initial pause made sense to find out more information, to look for new cases if there are, and also to examine the existing cases to look for a possible 